Am I the asshole for not supporting my daughter? Yeah. Done. All right, move on to the next one. Oh, Uh-oh. if only it were that difficult. <laughs> my daughter is the devil's daughter. <laughs> yeah, whoa. My daughter is a demon and wants to murder all of humanity, and I don't support her. Am yeah. I an asshole? Am I a huge piece of shit for that or something? <laughs> my 56 female daughter, Margo, 28, has been with her boyfriend, Mark, 30, since she was 16. Okay. I don't like Mark, and I truly think that he's a ba- he's bad for my daughter. <laughs> okay. He convinced her when she was 18 to leave home with him and go to the same community college as him and settle down together. Wait, okay, hold on. I gotta do math, because she was 28, he's 30. They've been together since she was 16. He would have been 18. 18, 16, okay. All right. Maybe like they knew in high school. Okay, that's not Not terrible. Not the worst. I've seen way worse on this show. Yeah. He convinced her when she was 18 to leave home with him and go to the same community college as him and then settle down together. She did that, and at 23, she got pregnant with her first child, Jace. Everyone was happy for her, but I hated it. I couldn't help but feel like she was throwing her whole life away from this guy, for this guy, and when she looks back, she's going to have regrets about staying with Mark. However, I never said anything, and they eventually went on to get married when she was 26, and even bought a house together after their honeymoon. Okay, and she's going to start regretting it. Totally. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Fast forward to the present day, and Margo works in an office while Mark is a construction worker, but they both make enough to get by with bills and living expenses, Okay. on top of paying for daycare for Jace. Okay. <laughs> and, Friday, and the problem is... <laughs> on Friday, Margo and Mark came over with Jace because my husband and I have been missing our grandson, so I invited them over for dinner. And they came like a bunch of assholes. Well, they walked in the door like pieces of shit. <laughs> And then they ate the food that we (laughs) served. Can you believe it? When they came over, my daughter had a huge smile on her face and said that she had some news that she wanted to share with us. We sat down at the table and with a big smile on her face, she told us that she and Mark were having another baby. Oh. My face fell and I couldn't help but feel disappointed (laughs) in her. So I told her so. Oh my God. Okay, great. This is what? Hold on. This has been 10 years of a relationship? Yeah, okay. Or 12 years of a relationship. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to go back yeah, and check oh, the the horror. <laughs> She's so miserable with her house and her, <laughs> her job and her loving husband <laughs> and her child. What the fuck? And she moved out at 18? God. Okay. She's okay. the perfect child. <laughs> My face fell and I couldn't help but feel disappointed in her, so I told her so. Uh I told her that I didn't think having another kid with Mark was a good idea because Mark isn't the right one for her and that when she (laughs) looks back on her life, she is going to regret everything having to do with him and that he basically ruined her life. I'm sorry, that was a run-on sentence. I had no control over that. I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay. She got very quiet and without saying anything, she left. Mark told me I was a jerk before storming out and following her. Oh, yeah, I wonder why he would think that. My husband also agreed, but my friends who I told about the situation are on my side. So was I the jerk for being honest with my daughter? Yeah, for being honest, that's what it, that's what it was about. The Am I the Asshole title is Am I the Asshole for Criticizing Someone's Wife? And then the Am I the Devil title is Am I the Asshole for Not Shutting the Fuck Up? In? <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go okay so i was in a discord server and i was talking about how i despise tiktok Boo. <laughs> Boo! i love tiktok then another guy chimes in and says i don't know man my wife can't pay attention to a two-minute video so apps like tiktok work much work much better for her i then replied that that's not something to be proud of because it shows how tiktok is ruining everyone's attention span nowadays This guy then gets super defensive and starts saying, um, actually, she has ADD and don't use my wife for your criticisms. At which point I'm like, hey, you brought your wife into this conversation, so don't be surprised if I use her as an example, even if if it's for something negative. Also, he never mentioned the ADD thing before, so I feel like he just used that as an attempt to make me look bad. Besides, you can have ADD and still be able to watch videos longer than two minutes. So that doesn't help his argument whatsoever. Fucking Ben Shapiro ass. Debate bro ass. Motherfucker. 
This guy then reiterates, I just don't like my family getting called out like that. And I tell him, you can not like it all you want, but the fact is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Shut yeah. The- <laughs> you can not like it all you want, but the fact is that being somebody's wife doesn't shield you from criticism. I don't care that it's your wife or your husband, mother, father, brother, sister, or your third cousin twice removed. You're such a fucking nerd. <laughs> God, shut the fuck up. I just up. slid into this voice, but yeah. <laughs> um, If they're doing something wrong, I'm going to say, hey, your family member is doing something wrong. It's not meant to insult anybody. It's not meant as a form of disrespect. It's just bolded. Constructive criticism. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not what that is. Not yep. Not. And that's exactly what I was doing here. Just saying that respectfully, maybe TikTok has had a bad influence on her attention span and she should probably stop using it. And that's why the chemicals in her brain are actually <laughs> make her more preconceived to ADHD. <laughs> Aluminum <laughs> foil hat. <laughs> and that's yes. why 5G is actually <laughs> harmful. Have you heard of uh, uh, this guy named Q? <laughs> Nothing rude was said about her in the process. It's no different from if I was talking about the harmful effects of smoking and he said his wife was a smoker and I was like, that's not good. Your wife should stop smoking. Although I would be stating the obvious in that case, but not as many people know about TikTok's harmful effect. And listen, if I get you in the comments and you're being contrary and like, actually TikTok does have, you're using it right now. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. You're nerd. using it right now. Stop using it then. Yeah, stop using it. <laughs> it's an app that you could choose to use. <laughs> you have free will. You, you can do whatever you want. Will. You're not like forced to sit here and watch it. Born to shit, forced to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then an administrator on the Discord decides to jump into the conversation and starts white knighting for this guy's wife. I t- <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I t- shut the fuck up. This guy's so much. I hate him so much. I tell him that the guy was talking. I was talking with was overreacting about my comments. After which the admin basically tells me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good. Yes. I tell him that there's nothing wa- wrong with criticizing someone's wife as long as it's done in a respectful manner. Okay, let me read that again. I tell him that there's nothing wrong with <laughs> criticizing someone's wife as long as it's done in a respectful manner. How is it respectful? Elaborate. Elaborate right now how it was respectful. I tell him that there's nothing wrong with criticizing someone's wife as long as it's done in a respectful manner, after which the admin gets mad at me and bans me from the server. Awesome. For what exactly? Because I told somebody their wife was an example of a bigger problem in our society that needs to be <laughs> fixed? She wasn't even the main subject of the conversation to begin with. It's not like humanity is permanently doomed to be that way and can't help itself. Really, fucking this boomer. is fucking awesome. What he says next, this is fucking amazing. Okay. That this guy says this. And also really confirms his race. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we know what his race oh. is? Um, really, this whole thing felt like the whole Will Smith at the Oscars incident. But there were people defending Will during that whole thing. So maybe I'm wrong here, too. Am I the asshole? Trigger warning, self unaliving. Okay. Am I the asshole for asking my friend why she didn't make a birthday post for her late son? Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. What? My friend's son is in his mid 20s and took his life a few months ago. She has been quiet on social media since it all happened, which I found interesting because her <laughs> other sons and ex husband were not shy to make any posts expressing their love for their son. Grief. People grieve differently. Maybe she doesn't use TikTok or, yeah. or social media. It is yeah. like today is his birthday, and as expected, the ex-husband writes a sweet Facebook post along with many of her son's other friends. She has been silent all day, and I have not seen anything from her. Truthfully, I know everyone grieves different, but to me, it sends a bad message. <laughs> what bad message? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, a bad message that she's been so silent, but posting about her new boyfriend and the things they've been up to. It almost seems like she doesn't care about her son. What gives you that impression? Because what? I'm a terrible person. <laughs> yeah, that's what? what. But who am I to judge? 
maybe take that a step, you know, maybe yeah, take that I mean, thought a step further and actual to its logical conclusion. Yeah. Um, or really know what's going on behind the scenes. You've also said, you said that people grieve differently. Yeah. So you know that. Yeah. And you know you shouldn't judge someone else, right? However. I messaged her, telling her I'm thinking of her today and hope she's hanging in there. And she responds back saying thank you with a heart. I then asked if she was going to make a post for him and she said that she was not. All I said in return is buckle the fuck up, dude, for this. <laughs> Alright, yeah. What 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 fucking slam dunk, you know, fucking is it okay, I understand and respect that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, That's right. right, yeah. Just make sure people don't get the wrong idea that you don't care. <laughs> I think it would be a really sweet tribute. I'm glad I'm glad you know what would be sweet for my kid. My I don't want a fucking asshole, actually. I'm so pissed. I gotta read the first comment after this is done, but yeah, let no, me continue. Yeah. She never responded, but one of our mutual friends called me, basically screaming at me and calling me an asshole, and told me to never message my friend again and asked if I knew how much damage I caused sending that message. Am I the asshole? Anyway, the top comment on Am I the Devil is, I want to know where this bitch gets the audacity? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole for throwing my McDonald's trash out the window on a road trip? Yeah. Yeah, you are. There are two edits to this that I'm saving <laughs> for the end, just so you guys know. Fuck all of you guys like you haven't thrown trash out of your car. You are not that far off. Yeah, I'm sure that's how every person who does that yeah. thinks. Well, are you going to keep trash in your car till you get to a trash can? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Me and friends are on a road trip from Am Amarillo to Austin to see a band. I am really close friends with the two guys and one is bringing his girlfriend who I don't really know. I am the driver and it's my dad's car. We went to McDonald's on the way out of town, and after we were done, I asked everyone to gather up the trash, and then I threw it out the window, <laughs> so, so, my so, my so my dad's car won't get dirty, because my daddy's car can't get dirty. No, no, no. Well, then fucking eat it in the car and then throw it out before you leave. Nah. The girl with us freaked out, and she actually wanted me to turn around and pick awesome. up the trash. Of course that's ridiculous. It is a little ridiculous. So I drove on, but she and I argued the whole way to Austin. She even brought trash, bought trash bags at the next gas stop. That's nice of her. And said she would be, quote, in charge of the trash all <laughs> trip because she wasn't traveling with a slob. Good. I like that. I like her. Part of this argument is that I have literally always done this. My parents have always done this. My grandparents have always done this. Most of my friends throw their trash out the window. It really keeps your car clean. She said that everyone in your family is an <laughs> asshole, and she told my friend that if he ever did it, she would break up with him, based. Based. She said that she was from Colorado, where apparently they are a better glass of people. Class of, class of people. This guy said glass. And I was just a bumpkin beyond respect. Am I the asshole? Yeah. Do edits. Yeah. Edit. What's with the down votes? <laughs> <laughs> it's against the rules in the sub, FYI. Two, this I can edit. People who are accusing me of breaking the law are also downvoting me when it's against the rules. That's just as bad and so hypocritical. Fun fact, first comment on Am I the Devil? Yeah. Apparently, the famous Don't Mess With Texas started as a state anti-littering campaign back in the, 1980s, in the 1980s. Really? I didn't His know that. His state is pretty anti-litter. What a doofus. What a doof. Yeah. yeah. It's time to break that generational curse and stop throwing trash on the highway! <laughs> Dude, people are fucking crazy. Me and my girlfriend have been living together for a little over a year. We don't really have any issues besides this one. My girlfriend always seems to forget she buys ice cream and will leave it in the freezer for months. I make a point to remind her at least once a week that she has ice cream in the freezer and needs to eat it before it goes off. A few days ago, I opened the freezer and discovered that she had a tub of ice cream that was about to go off. I let her know that it was about to go off and she should probably eat it and she told me she would. Woke up today and it was still in the same spot and hadn't even been opened so I figured I would eat it before it goes off and gets wasted. 
She came home and saw the ice cream container in the rubbish and got mad at me for eating her food, claiming she was going to eat it tonight and now she can't. She's quite mad at me and also brought up the fact that I seemed to harass her about eating it and said I need to just let her deal with it. We buy the main foods together like cheese and butter, but the ice cream was her purchase. I offered to pay her back, but she refused. I didn't want it to go off, so I was planning on eating it and paying her back 